What is going on, my St. Louis City fam? I'm your girl Kelly here to give you the rundown on what happened in St. Louis City government this week. And here's what you need to know. So first, reparations for black St. Louis, and y'all, yes, it was discussed during this week's Housing, Urban Development, and Zoning Committee meeting. Alderman Bosley sponsored legislation that, if passed, will create not one but two funds to assist the city's efforts to support African Americans who have been victims of the effects of slavery. So wh what are these funds? So the first fund, the reparations fund, will provide needed support and financial assistance to the spouses and children of all black city residents. And the second fund, the Midwest Land Development Fund, will provide additional dollars for economic development at approved city blocks. Now the million dollar question, where would the coins come from to establish these funds? So after paying a tax bill or a water bill or some other city bill, folks can choose to pay a little extra and that donated extra will go to these funds or these two different accounts. So it's kind of similar like when you're in Schnucks or maybe in Walgreens, you pay for your purchases and then you have the option to either round up you know what I'm saying? Or you can add a little extra to donate to a particular cause. So basically, it's the same thing as that. Alderman Bosley said this bill, it ain't set up to say who's black and who's not. And this bill ain't got all the answers, but it's a start to develop a real plan on how to address the issues impacting our communities. And when I say our communities, I'm talking about black communities. And the purpose of this bill is to set up two funds. He said that's it. So how do members of the committee feel about this bill? So overall, folks seemed in favor of reparations for Black St. Louisans. Their issues were around the fact that the bill, it didn't flesh out any details. Like, how will these dollars be dispersed? Also, Alderman Bosley, he mentioned that he hadn't reached out to the comptroller or mayor's offices, nor had he reached out to the revenue collector, uh, which is important to, to work on, the committee member said, just to really get an idea of what this these funds and the disbursements and all that, like what it will really entail. Also, it was brought up that this isn't a new thing for the city. Alderman Collins said, though, the most he's seen raised through, you know, the, these donations is $40,000 in one year for the Forest Park Forever effort. And he said they had a whole campaign around this and they just, they got 40 grand in a year. And I mean, that ain't reparations, right? So um, he was just saying there needs to be a little more work on this and make sure that it is a collaborated and coordinated effort to make sure black people get as many coins as we can get. Yeah, and then this happens. Ottoman Coulter. I don't have anything to add to this freewheeling discussion. Um, I'm not supporting this today. It's, I'll use the term half-baked. If you come back with a real plan and a companion bill, I'll consider it. But, you know, using this committee hearing for your freewheeling discussion, I think is a waste of everybody's time. This is the second day in a row you've done this. And, and frankly, my patience is about up. Second day in a row? I'm, I'm sorry, Jack. Can I ask you a question? Alderman Coulter. No, I'm not taking any questions from the Alderman. Okay. okay. Alderman Pam Boyd. Well, so I, I do have a comment. I'm sure I can do that. Go ahead, Alderman Brandon. Possibly. Yeah, so first of all, it's a waste of time for you to make a comment that's saying that trying to give my people something small is a waste of time. That's a waste of time. And unfortunately, the 400 years we put in in this city, the thousands of buildings that we built, the ones that y'all tear down every single day, every day, that we go around and have people shooting out of, shooting behind grass up to our behinds. And all I'm saying is we wanna create a, 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 an account and you feel some type of way about an account, Jack? Uh, Mr. Alderman, Alderman Kotar, uh, it's an account, uh, sir. Okay. It's all just right, an Alderman, account. That's Alderman it. Bison. 
There's All nothing the more than an account. And I'm not wasting nobody's time. I'm trying to do something that your people never write. Y'all people wronged us. You did us wrong. Your ancestors. Okay, Alderman Bosley, uh, we got that point. Um, so what was the verdict? Folks offered to assist Alderman Bosley with fleshing this out a bit more. The bill, it didn't come for a vote, uh, and there will be more discussion on it at the next Housing, Urban Development, and Zoning, or HUDS committee meeting. Uh, so yes, y'all, this will be continued. The next thing y'all need to know, St. Louis City police officers that are trained and dip out in a short time may have to run the city back its coin. So there is a bill discussed during the Public Safety Committee meeting sponsored by Alderman Bosley and Orion that, if passed, would do just that. So apparently quite a few police departments throughout the state, as well as like small agencies, I guess, they don't pay for folks to go through the police academy training. And the trainees, they have to come out of pocket to pay for it themselves. So St. Louis City Police Department, they ain't like that though. Once they hire folks, they send them to the academy for training, which is six months, and the city pays them. And it costs $36,000 to train one police officer, y'all. Now, this came from the director of public safety, Dr. Dan Isom, so I'm not just pulling these numbers out of the air, okay? He also mentioned, Dr. Dan Isom mentioned, that some of these other agencies and departments that don't pay folks suggest that people go through the city's training. And then once they graduate, they shake to work. You guessed it, not in St. Louis City. So this bill, if passed, it would enforce what already exists in the contract that the police academy grads sign that states if you don't work as a, as a city police officer for four years, you got to run them back fake coins. So what was the verdict? This bill, it was passed unanimously, meaning everybody in the committee approved it, and it will head to the full Board of Aldermen for official final passage. And then the last thing y'all need to know, zooming and driving is a very controversial topic. Apparently, as a resolution regarding this matter was discussed for over two hours, over two hours at the full board of Alderman meeting. So resolution number 178, which was sponsored by Alderwoman Schweitzer, would change the board of Alderman's rules that will prevent members from voting or being counted present at meetings when driving a vehicle. So now y'all, all of the board of Alderman meetings and their committee meetings are held virtual via Zoom. So that's what this is related to, um, yes. So what was the purpose of this resolution to ensure the safety of Board of Aldermen members as well as the broader public that shares the road with them? And distracted driving, I mean, it's real, y'all. It's very dangerous. And this was definitely acknowledged during the discussion. However, things really took a turn um, while this discussion was going on. As some of the Black all the people they was like, yo, this resolution is straight up racist. So uh, listen to Alderman Vaccaro provide his thoughts on this resolution. I, I hear member after member of the caucus saying this is, is racist. I know that all the women boy has to take her husband to the hospital. I guess she could leave him at home, stick him in a cab. But no, let's take her whole area's right to vote away. I know that Alderman Bosley, you see him sometimes, and I don't know what purpose. Let's just take his right away. What? Why should his? Why should his neighborhood have any representation? Because he has to be somewhere in a car. Let's take the right away. You don't see. I have not seen any, or that I know of any of the white aldermen. I know I haven't done it. Uh, I know uh, uh, President Bo the board hasn't done it. But the ones that seem to have done it have been the black members. Let's just take their vote away. Is anybody listening to what they're saying? Or are you just hearing what they're saying? They feel this is extremely racist, and I agree. I say take their vote away if that's what you're saying. But then don't say it secretly. Don't say it some sort of 
Uh, secret amendment. Well, we won't actually, you know, this is a way we can do it without saying something. Say it. If you don't want them to vote, damn it, if you don't want, you know, uh, Bosley, Alderman Bosley's or Alderman Boyd's neighborhood to have a vote, then say it. Quit doing this behind the scenes. They've been talking and saying, they're saying this in meetings. They're begging. I've seen them literally in tears over this stuff. Quit listening. Start hearing what they have to say. Let's vote this down because it's the right thing to do. But do whatever you want. But quit being a closet racist. If you're going to be a racist, be it out front. Ooh, yeah. So what was the final verdict? The resolution it failed and didn't pass. So that's all I have for y'all this week. Please stay safe out there. You will see me soon. Peace.